969-970. We've got Logan Gilbert, that son of a bitch who cost me a win last week by they swapped starting pitching days. JP Sears for the A's got minus 170 for the Mariners, plus 150 to the A's. And I know this is going backwards a little bit. We started with Corby last time, so we're going to Jason this time. And I'm just proud of myself for remembering the order, honest to God. Um, if you guys could help us out, hit that like button as well. Like, come on, there's 80 of you guys watching and nobody can hit the damn like button. Can you hit the like button for us? I mean, we want to have Base Winter Rap Friday. We've got Corby singing in the background for that. Um, after this game, we're going to be into our Q&A. So if you have questions, tee them up in the chat box so that they can get them over to us. And we are going to answer your questions after this game. But Jason, Gilbert, Sears, Mariners, A's. We back in the A's. We back in the. You you love to back the A's. Is this a, a dog park in A's day, or are you going Mariners here? You know the the Mariners have been a bit disappointing lately. I think I would probably wait and see if Julio Rodriguez is in the lineup today. He's had some back issues. If he's not in the lineup, I'm a little more likely to bet on the A's. Like I said, this is a really steep price to to back the uh, the Mariners with. But you know, the, on the other hand, it's still the A's and just. Just say no. Say no to the A's. Mm -hmm. Just say no. It sounds like the the dare guy. I I might be aging myself here. I'm sure you, Jason probably had this at school, but Corby probably not. But we used to have a, a drug officer come to our elementary school, and it was called the Dare Program. Doug, drug abuse resistance education. And we got the T-shirts, and we thought he was the coolest guy in the entire world. And we had to learn to to just say no. You know, just say no yeah. to drugs. And it's, it's like tell work. kids. It's like tell kids who have no clue what drugs are. Like, hey. There's these things that people love and they're addicted to. Don't do them. It's, yeah. yeah I, uh, and, and look, I immediately went out. 11-year-old Kyle said, where's the first joint I can find? You know? <laughs> Thank you, Deputy Bill Fennell. No, I didn't do that. I was, I was a little bit older when I started getting into the happy lettuce, allegedly getting into the happy lettuce. But, Corey, uh, Gilbert and Sears, you got to play in this game. I think I mean, the Mariners scare me. Uh, they do. Something just weird about that team so far. But And the A's. In fairness, they're a, they have a 457 combined batting average. Only 11 of it's 11 of 26. But this, uh, yeah, I didn't learn a damn thing in school. Ed Bluss, he's absolutely right in the chat box. I didn't learn a damn thing because I was teaching school. I was too smart back then. But uh, what do you think here, Mariners? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I tend to agree with the idea that this is a steep price, which is weird because I bet on the Mariners' first five run line. Uh, the issue is I wanted to bet the A's first five team total under one and a half, minus 115. Uh, it was not a line whenever I saw, so uh, I posted the first five run line. I still think that the Mariners are plenty fine on the run line. Uh, I don't think that Oakland can score two runs, basically. So if the Mariners can score two runs, then by all means. The issue here, uh, first off, Oakland's offense is a triple A team at best. I just I have no promise in this offense at all. And as Fred talked about earlier, he likes uh, tall pitchers. I am I am one for a tall pitcher. Uh, oh. But the main thing about a tall pitcher being the extension that they have, and there is not one pitcher in the entire MLB who has a higher extension rate than Logan Gilbert. That man stretches all six six of his arm to as far down the plate as he can. And so, yeah, he might throw 92. He might throw 94. But those 94s look like 98, and his 92 looks like 97. So uh, his stuff just looks a lot better than numbers are ever going to show, in my opinion. I have Logan Gilbert, one of my favorite pitchers. Uh, it, it's just like he battles through some pretty bad spots because he does put himself in situations every once in a while. Usually the start of games, he, he kind of struggles in the first inning, it seems. Uh, but then after that, when he gets on a roll, he's almost unhittable. Like the stuff that he throws is just doesn't have a ton of movement, doesn't have like the greatest speed, but his location's great, his extension's great, and people just are, are guessing because of how far he can stretch the mound. In. Uh, so this is mostly a bet on the oh, idea boy. that Logan Gilbert can – give up zero runs so little time and so many joke setups in one statement from Corby Craig and here I am just behaving myself even though it's a young man Wednesday I'm going to act like an old man and be mature here but Corby is locking in the Mariners first five on the run line at minus 115 Beck and Gilbert over JP Sears and look anytime you're fading the A's I think it's okay Jason is also locking in the under seven and a half at minus 105 and look neither one of these offenses are really scaring you so uh Chances for both these bets to win, and I think they both look uh, pretty feasible. Oh.